you'll hear from Eliza Bentley, a rising high school senior, a public speaker on youth entrepreneurship, author of an original anthology of business case studies for high school students called Take My Case, and founder and producer of Talking Business, a business case study society for high school students that has expanded nationally in 2020. Hi, my name is Eliza Bentley and I'm a junior from Long Island, New York. I'm here today to talk to you about my business case study society, Talking Business. I created this society to prepare the next generation of business minds and entrepreneurs for their possible future paths. Many high schools like mine across Long Island have no business programs for students to enroll in besides typical economics. For those looking to go into the business field, it can be confused what that means, what that looks like, how one could learn more about it. And Talking Business offers that exposure into the business world, harsh, real, and organic conversation and critical thinking that business professionals can provide the curious, naive students looking for experience. Talking Business offers a platform through which future business students can grow their critical thinking skills and be mentored by professional business people in adaptability and heuristics leading to problem solving. Our monthly online case study sessions include exercises in annotation and analysis, as well as instruction by successful business professionals, engaging the divergent thinking of both students and mentors. Through analysis and discussion of McKinsey and Harvard business case studies, Talking Business achieves its goal of teaching members how leaders turn problems on their sides and develop approaches that lead to successes. Consequently, Talking Business helps transform students from consumers of information into creative, organized, and non-traditional thinkers. From watching my mom create her own business to observing top athletic coaches inspire players towards pivotal strategies, I have noticed to, take, to learn to take opportunity for leadership. It became apparent to me that there were gaps in Long Island business outreach to potential future entrepreneurs. Our generation can no longer rely on learning what is needed for our careers by age 22. Every field is requiring creative and multidisciplinary mindsets. The theoretical tools one might have learned for most professions today will likely be obsolete in a decade. I believe, therefore, that the mentality of a student must be to embrace a lifelong process of learning and relearning. Studying the mindset of an entrepreneur or successful business person through case studies that teach solutions thinking, sober critical analysis and improvisation in the workplace can help young people advance as innovators in a world of flux. I began my society by reaching out to active members of Long Island business associations with the request to run one online mentorship session for interested students. After two months of outreach, with two kind acceptances and countless thanks but no thanks responses, I began an email and a social media campaign inviting students from local high schools to a Google Hangout for our first Long Island Business Case Study Society. Starting with only three classmates and then dozens of t athletic team leaders and student researchers, this burgeoning enthusiastic cadre has now moved to Zoom. Immersed in a tribe of strategic thinkers dedicated to learning the same cases, I have now found myself approaching everything differently with a more flexible and varied set of investigative and evaluative tools. Having been invited as a speaker for business organizations, finance and technology companies such as Stratus Voice Software, SailPro, and multiple ABA groups with companies such as QuickChow, Boar's Head, and Moxie, I am proud to have expanded Talking Business to serve over 900 high school students across Long Island. In an attempt to further expand my outreach, I have spent the year interviewing entrepreneurs from around the country on their business challenges and successes to create my own case study anthology, Cases of Note, to be published in the fall and donated to high school libraries that serve talk Talking Business members. As of 2020, Talking Business has expanded to the West Coast with chapters in Arizona and Seattle high schools. By launching new online case studies to, in groups in, for high schools around the country, I hope we're talking business to address the gap in critical and creative thinking skills in high school students, giving them the tools to invest in themselves in an uncertain future. Talking business prepares young minds to be engines of change and business problem solvers. Fearless in invention, critical in researching their ideas, and open and optimistic in, out, in their outreach to find mentors who can take them one step up towards a positively impactful future. I've always thought the best way to learn was to do. No matter how intimidating, no matter how difficult it would seem, you would never know until it was done. Placing yourself in the hypothetical head seat of a company and questioning what moves could make or break your company is the exact real life 
education the next generation of learners needs. And Talking Business is sharing this one at a time, affecting nearly a the individual lives of nearly a thousand teens. As nerve wracking as it was to gain members and voice my society and passion to others, sharing my ideas and collaborating with others who would come up with what I had not was the insight I had never seen before. Analyzing and sharing the experiences of past businesses and the first hand touch of professionals is the learning of the future. Law and business schools have embraced it for years and it is time high school students are entrenched in the same real life simulation. Fear of doing something new and different can often be turned into a no, but using that fear to fuel and your energy and flee and not flee is when you really learn from it. Without talking business, I would never have faced my fears. I would never have figured out my goals for the future and hundreds of others would have never had the same real life experience that this unique education offers. Putting yourself on the line to share what you discovered is truly a gift, special gift I would never return. From speaking at meetings, to interviewing local entrepreneurs, to meeting top tier business professionals and learning from their guidance, the meaning of business has truly been revolutionized in the eyes of me and hundreds of others around the country. Thank you.